something many of us take for granted, sounds like children laughing. For 400,000 severe to pro profoundly de deaf adults and children, the world is silent. Now children are being given a chance to benefit from technology that's been helping adults for years. Where is the horsey? I am. Oh, very That's good. been the, uh, the miracle that we prayed for. Three-year-old Sydney Pesco has the gift of hearing because of a device surgically implanted behind her ear. Put it inside. For nearly two years, Sydney lived in a world of near silence. Loud noises sounded muffled if she heard them at all. Gina and Chris Pesco suspected a hearing problem. She was only getting like airplane noises coming over your house at a really low level. Testing confirmed Sydney's condition, profound hearing loss. The actual diagnosis is sensorineural hearing loss in both ears, which means that the sound is not getting to her auditory nerve. We kind of started down that path of trying to see, get her fitted with hearing aids and, uh, and train her um, audio-verbal um, in, in the footsteps of my mother. Chris's mom so, is also I'm deaf. Totally... When a hearing aid only slightly improved Sydney's hearing, doctors surgically implanted the new Nucleus 24 cochlear implant. Young children who are born deaf uh, can learn to hear and to learn to speak themselves with a cochlear implant. It's the first device approved by the FDA for use on children as young as 18 months. Children's Memorial Hospital ear specialist Dr. Nancy Young conducted two years of clinical trials to test its effectiveness. The cochlear implant actually uses computer technology to make speech not only audible but clearer so that uh, speech can be understood. Damaged sensory nerve cells in the ear are bypassed when the device is implanted, stimulating nerves needed for hearing. The cochlear implant has two parts, a part that's surgically implanted in the ear, but then there are external components, um, and that's where the processor is, that's what we program with the computer. The ring of the telephone is a wonderful sound for Sydney, made possible through special programming in her implant's processor. It can be set to reduce background noise and adapted to various listening situations. This is the transmitter, which sticks right onto a little magnet that's inside of, uh, under Sydney's skin. Until now, surgical implants have been restricted to profoundly deaf adults and older children. But with approval of the latest device, doctors say a whole new world opens up for the very young as well as older people. Why? See? Yay! <laughs> Studies show that the earlier children are implanted, the easier it is for them to speak. But the implants can cost thousands of dollars. Often a portion is picked up by insurance.